I'm coming in loud and clear. Might hear me on the radio. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody got their ears on? Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Tonight, I got this, this Redicus V117. This is, and let me pull it up real close so you can see it. This is like... This is like the most basic shortwave radio you're going to get your hands on, and I, I love it. It's like the most simplistic, easy to operate, easy to use radio. And so when they asked if I would be interested in taking a look at it, I was like, yeah, yeah, definitely. I love radios. FM, AM, and shortwave. It's the V117. Now on the back here, it says that it is a slide rule dial. Not sure what that means. Tuning knob for easy tuning, simple operation for anyone, convenient carry strap, battery powered for emergencies, headphone jack for personal listening. Does have a speaker though, so you can listen to it, you know, sitting on a desk. Band selector switch, tuning knob, power indicator, volume knob, and frequency indicator window. Let's do it. Let's open this thing up. This is a Christmas present. And I love these things, man. I just I love the fact that I had the opportunity to share shortwave with folks. Look at that. Just an easy to use dial. Right, and we got meters and just megahertz, right? Then we have FM and AM there as well. On this side here, we've got ourselves a little earbud input. On the back, it looks like it takes two AA batteries. I'll slap some in there in a second. Got an antenna. That's a pretty good size antenna. Of course, you can hook an alligator clamp to that to pick up far more stations if you want to do like a long wire antenna with that. Here's our band select and you can see again this is like very very analog very basic I love it. Manual tuning dial and then there's our on off and volume. Cool. All right and we get us come with this little carrying strap here which I don't know if I have the hand dexterity to do this but I'm going to give it a shot now I don't know there's no way I'm going to be I'll put that in there later. And then the manual for it as well, which is right here. The V117. Cool. Well, let me get some batteries and let's fire this thing up. There we go. All right, let's try this thing out. We'll start off with the FM band. And of course, I've got to be mindful uh, for copyright stuff here, so. Got a little power light there. Let's see if we, I'll go down to the bottom of the band because sometimes they have talk radio down there. Just a commercial, something. It's pretty clear. I mean, I should say clear. It's got a good sound for... And I wish I could stay on these channels longer. We are committed to there we go. Tennesseans from Bristol to Memphis. First Horizon takes great... Yeah, it's a good sound. You might say we're home sweet home. Over a century and a half. All right, let's switch over to AM. AM during the daytime, not a lot here. Nothing in the AM, and uh, that's not too unusual, like I said. So around here, unless it's nighttime when the clear channels are coming in, you get nothing. We're about oh, 30, 40 miles from the nearest AM transmitter, and those are like 5,000-watt, 10,000-watt stations, not clear channel stations. So you just don't get anything up here, which really sucks. I used to have 680 WPTF back in Raleigh, and I loved that station, nice strong signal. There was also 850 and a couple of other ones, uh, 520 I think was one, or 540. So, nothing now. Let's go on to shortwave. 
And uh, we'll see what we can find. Daytime, not a lot on shortwave up here, but I bet you we'll come across something. kind of music. There we go. Can't stay on it for very long because it's music, but yeah, so I guess that'll do it. I'll go ahead and shut it off. Um, so don't don't take this little roll through the dial as an indication that this thing is uh, you know not very sensitive. Some radios do well up here. Some radios don't. This is indoors, and that really hurts it a lot. Also, I don't have a long wire hooked up to it for the shortwave stuff. After the sun goes down, shortwave really jumps into action around these parts, and so does AM. So uh, I like it. I mean, for what it is, it's an entry level radio that'll get. Uh, somebody may be interested in the hobby and it's very inexpensive i'll leave a link on where you can find these things but yeah thanks to Redicus for sending this my way and uh this is going to go on to somebody for a nice christmas present so till next time my friends take care